All right, there's some reports coming from some NBA insiders and some anonymous ones saying that if Draymond Green comes back, which he won't play tonight versus my Detroit Pistons, but check out my Detroit channel, Marcy Sports Talk, and he don't play well, then basically he's going to be on the trading block. I know he just got a four-year deal worth a little bit over $25 million a year to stay in Golden State. But let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell like, comment button, share the video. And to be honest, it's going to be the same thing that it was last year. Um, Draymond is one of those dudes that what he does don't really translate to stats. And he's like one of those super glue pieces. You know, Rasheed Wallace was a super glue piece in Detroit. He wasn't a superstar in Detroit. He was a super glue piece. And Draymond is one of those super glue guys, you know, um, kind of a little bit lesser down the scale, like Robert Ory. Robert Ory is, was essential to his championship teams, even though Houston tried to get rid of him. I think the first year they won a championship, Draymond is an essential glue, super glue guy to a to a team. So what he does, defend, facilitate, lead, you know, and then his third or fourth option is to get out there and score. So, you know, pretty much it's going to be the same thing. They might as well trade Clay, I mean, Clay Thompson when he get healthy. But Steph Curry, why they at it? It was offered with for Golden State. They had to run, you know, and what happened was like that D12 thing. My band, 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 that whole thing, which when KD got here, he heard Klay Thompson, you know, saying that he was tired of sacrificing. And when he got injured, KD and the Houston series, I think, oh, we can go back to playing how we used to play. And only reason they got a championship without KD was only because Kyrie and Kevin Love was injured. Let's keep one hun bun. But Draymond is a player that will fit good in Miami. All right, Miami. Uh, Brooklyn, um, even though I know KD thing is there, but Brooklyn, uh, Philadelphia, if they was able to give up Ben Simmons somehow or some way, he'll be fit good with them. I mean, anybody that's contending for a title, Denver would probably be the ideal spot. Denver would be that spot. Um, Houston and James Harden continue to stay. Draymond would be perfect for what they do down there. Dallas will try to get need to get his hands on it. But some team that has a up a, has a, already a superstar or starting to develop a championship, you know, pedigree. But Denver, the Lakers, the Clippers. There was a story today about the Clippers trading for Kimball Walker. You can look that up. But those are kind of be the teams for him. And I'm trying to think of some more teams that's competing. Um, Toronto, uh, they can use them. Uh, Boston can use him. I mean, it's a lot of teams that's that need that championship pedigree. He, like he kind of give you that Dennis Rodman vibe, you know, uh, that Rasheed Wallace vibe. He'd be like the final chip. Now, a place low key that that should trade for him, that need him, and that got the draft picks to give up because they got so many young players. Atlanta is perfect for Draymond Green. To be honest, him and Rondo there, kind of nurturing and giving free game to Hunter, Cam Reddish, Trey Young. To be honest, and we talking about just any team, I think Draymond Green in Atlanta with Rondo, they got an opportunity in the next couple of years to be championship quality. You know what I'm saying? Dray, Draymond can teach Trey Young and Rondo can teach Trey Young what it means to, to win. But that's an underrated spot for him. But if you ask me where I want to see Draymond go for selfish reasons, I think Denver is the place to go. They lost Jeremy Grant, somebody that could defend LeBron a little bit. Him and Denver will be ideal, in my opinion. Teaching them young guys how to win. Paul Millsap ain't never won nothing, so he can't teach them how to win. But to me, that's the ideal situation for him. But don't sleep on going to the Lakers. He signed a clutch sports, but I think Denver for him is the ideal situation. But who knows? I think Draymond deserves to go on a championship-caliber team or a team that got championship qualities, man. But a team like Minnesota can use Draymond, you know, especially – you know, with that terrible locker room around Anthony Edwards with uh, Larsa Pippen chaser and the snitch D'Angelo Russell and, you know, Carl Anthony Towns who get punked all the time. But I think for Draymond, either Atlanta or I think uh, the Denver is a good place for him. But let me know what you guys think. Um, I think they I think they're going to end up flipping stuff, too. I just think it's totally over for Golden State. But. I think Golden State stumbled on the gold mine like Joe Dumars stumbled on the going to work piston. But hey, don't let me don't let me run your ear. But hey, check out the NBA Talk playlist. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You reach out if you have a business question, quiet response, your video quest. All my social media links, description, fast forward, reach me, Twitter and Facebook, and Instagram. We also got a Facebook group. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good Three One Three. PayPal link description. Cash app there's two. Best way to donate. Share the video. Hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think in the comment section.